According to Jurassic World Dominion, Giganotosaurus is bigger than T-Rex and can easily kill it. Is this true though? Well, no. Let me explain. So, in the movie, Giganotosaurus is claimed to be Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. What does biggest even mean though? In terms of length, mass, height, which one? Usually it means in terms of mass, which makes sense. But if that's the case, then currently, from what it seems, the T-Rex itself would be the biggest. I mean, look how bulky and built this dude was compared to the Giga. If you mean length, for some reason, then Spinosaurus would be the biggest. T-Rex and Giga were pretty much the same length, by the way. If you mean height, then maybe T-Rex, maybe the Giga, maybe Spina if you can't the sail. We don't quite know. So yeah, out of all the ways you can possibly define biggest, Giganotosaurus doesn't really win in any. If anything, T-Rex seems to be the biggest winner here, especially if you use the biggest in terms of mass definition, which is the usual way of defining it. But let's just say for the fun of it, Giganotosaurus was somehow as tall and as long as shown in the movie. Would it be able to kill the Tyrannosaurus, especially as easily as it did in the prologue? Yeah, no. T-Rex was a bulky, thick animal, so a bite on its neck, especially by a Giganotosaurus, won't really be a killing blow, since it was so bulky and had lots of muscle in that area. Giganotosaurus had a long jaw with shark, knife-like teeth, which was not made to crush bone. They were made to quickly capture and take bites out of their prey. So this bite on the T-Rex would be pretty bad for the Tyrannosaurus, but it would not defeat it. If we now check the T-Rex's jaw and teeth, we see the exact opposite. This was made to crush bone. In fact, the bite force is the strongest of any animal. A bite from this, especially on a neck that isn't bulky or well protected, <coughs> the giga, <coughs> and you'll be on the brink of death. And it's not just that. The T-Rex had overall better, more refined senses, and was more intelligent than the Giga. The few things that give the Giganotosaurus are that it was maybe more agile and had larger arms that were more useful and formidable. But why would T-Rex need giant arms when it has a huge mouthful of teeth and a jaw that can bite with the most insane amount of force imaginable? So all in all, I love the Giganotosaurus. I'm glad it's in the Jurassic series, but it does not compare too well with the Tyrant Lizard King. So, sorry, but the T-Rex would kill the Giganotosaurus. With that being said, if I was behind the Jurassic movies and had to make a big bad dinosaur that T-Rex finds, I would also go with the Giganotosaurus. Or even better, have the human villains make their own quote unquote evil T-Rex that follows their command. Since after all, the only carnivores that can match the strength, intelligence, and bite force of an adult healthy T-Rex is another T-Rex.